Hey peeps, what's going on? It's Josh. I didn't get a chance to record earlier, but I just got to my, um, words. Words are, what are words? Uh, I just got to my, I just got to my receiver. So, um, here I am. Yes. Um... There was something I was going to talk about. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, this was this was it. Um, so on this load, there were very specific instructions on the load assignment through my Qualcomm. And I wanted to tell you guys for all of you that are like I want to be a truck driver. Um, Nikki, if you had to deal with Qualcomm, you might remember this. I'm not sure. Um, you put your name in the comments, so I assume it's okay to use your name. So, hi. Also, thank you for looking in on me. Um, to be perfectly honest, it's a little freaky out here sometimes. Lonely, but also a little freaky out here because um, you're all alone and truckers have died in their trucks and nobody's known to look for them for like days so um not that that's obviously happened to me i'm alive and kicking plan to stay that way for a very long time however uh it's really cool to have someone look in on me like that and care um it made my heart happy i smiled when i saw that comment so thank you um and uh I try and make a point of letting you guys know that, um, every, there were some bugs that got into the truck when I opened the door, and now I feel like they're landing on my head. They're probably nowhere near me. Little gnats. Like, just little, ee. Anyway, I feel like they're landing on me, even though they're probably nowhere near me. They may not even still be in the truck, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, so, but thank you for your comment. I try and make a point of, like, letting you guys know every day that you, or every time I post, that you add value to my life, and I'm grateful um, for the connection that we get to have here. Um, because it, uh, honestly, the road is very lonely. Uh, it's it, it That's the one thing that really sucks out here. And if I didn't have Maggie and the boys, if they weren't getting on the truck with me, um, I, I don't know that... I would be cut out for this. The solitude is quite a bit. Um, at least with no... I can see how, how drivers do it when they have pets. Um, even if... Even if I were in a situation where uh, I didn't get to have Maggie on the truck, which would be awful, I wouldn't want to do that. But even if I didn't have Maggie, I would still potentially do trucking if I could have my pets. Because that would make a huge difference. Um, so, yeah. It's lonely out here, and it's awesome to know that people care, and it's awesome to be able to make these videos, and I know they're not for everyone. I don't ever want to pretend that they are. Um, I also don't ever want to pretend that I'm someone I'm not. So, um, but I do want to let you guys know that um, those of you that are peeps, because there's people that come and go that aren't peeps. Uh, they don't stay for the for the duration. Um, it's kind of like being a nerd fighter. If you say you're a nerd fighter, you're a nerd fighter. Um, and if you don't know what a nerd fighter is, you should check out the Vlog Brothers channel because they are so dope. Um, but most of you probably already know about John and Hank Green. Because I've talked about them before. You don't know them because of me. You probably know them separately or even before me. But whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm super grateful um, this channel, the ability to post these videos, having the internet to do it. Um, I was thrown into great contrast earlier when my phone wouldn't turn on. And I was like, wow, I really, I really miss my phone. Like, there was no, I had no connection. I was just sitting in my truck alone, praying that I would wake up in time to do this load. And... I have, and I'm thankful for that as well. Um, so yeah. So it was a little bit of a rough day, a little bit of a rough evening, but you know, that happens. That's life. It's not that serious. Um, 
After I do this, I have to go back to the yard that I was just at. And I can't talk about it because it's all in the same area. But uh, I have to go back to the yard that I was at. Get another. Excuse me. Get another trailer and then take it somewhere else. Um, again, nearby. So I'm doing yard work. I guess this is what yard work is. I did not know. But I'm doing yard work, and um, I don't really mind it so much. I'm going to set my alarm for like an hour. I'm going to close my eyes for a little bit because they have not even, my light hasn't even gone green. Um, and from what I understand, they'll, you know, they'll come get me. So, um, this isn't something that I have to, you know, do anything or what have you. They're just doing their thing. And receivers take a while, especially when there's lumpers involved. And these lumpers... Oh, so that's what I was talking about originally. I don't even know if I finished. I try and give little tips. Please don't think that I'm trying to be a trainer. Please don't think that I'm trying to talk down to any of you that are doing trucking. I just... I'm talking about things that I've noticed. And the one thing that I've noticed is a lot of times when you get your load assignment information... Um, you have to read through it carefully because there will be certain tips. Like this one was like if the lumper fee is over 200 you have to get special permission. And so I reached out to dispatch first because I'm like, who are they talking to? Are they talking to you guys or are they talking to me? Do I need to call and get permission? Because it's 1 a.m. and I'm pretty sure these the customer doesn't want to be woken up at 1 a.m. So I just went straight to dispatch because they're always your first line of help. Um, dispatch can answer just about any of your questions. And if they can't, they'll know where to tell you to get your questions answered. So there's a lot of people that have different feelings about dispatch. And I, my thought is, like, they're a huge, like, they're a tool. And I said that to uh, my dispatcher before. I was like, you're a great tool for me to use. And, he, and I was like, I just called you a tool. But I didn't mean it like that. I meant literally, like, you know, you're my first line of defense. Um, as far as, like, you know, getting stuff done and making sure everything's done correctly and, um, efficiently and appropriately. So, this is a blind corner, and some of these trucks come flying around, and most of them are day cabs. So, okay. But why are you in a day cab at night, though? I know. Some of them are yard dogs. Yard dogs have a very distinct look. But some of these are actual day cabs. And I'm like, the F. Where are you sleeping? It's night. I don't... Maybe you're just working night shift. I don't know. I wouldn't want to deal with a day cab. I feel like it would be very claustrophobic. I like having the space. You know. So. He's giving me a dirty look. Don't be giving me a dirty look. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just here bumped up to the, do to the dock. There's no wheel chocks at this dock. Which I thought was very strange. But there's no wheel chocks at this dock. Also, I kind of hope that this trailer doesn't have any more load locks in it. Because I already have five. I have spaces on the truck for four and I have five. So my fifth one is bungeed to the catwalk. This makes me nervous. I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm sure. <laughs> so, um, yeah. There's not much else for me to talk about because I just did a little quickie load. Like, literally, it was like 50 miles. I have no idea how they're going to pay for that. Like, I don't... I, maybe I just get those miles. I'm not really sure. Um, but I'm not too, too worried about it. I'm just glad to still be rolling and using my hours because... I mean, I could have done a 34-hour reset, but at the same time, I'd rather be... You know, I'm not too good for any kind of miles. I don't mind. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I've got a red light. But it sounded like they just tried to do a thing. Sometimes when noises like that happen, it creeps me out a little bit because I'm still so new at this. So, but I'm pretty sure they just put up the uh, dock. Is it just called a dock lock? I don't know. Excuse me. I'm yawning. <clears throat> I'm, I probably made some of you yawn if you're sympathetic people. Um, 
But it seems as though, like, that's a noise that happens, and then sometimes they'll come out and be like, you're not lined up properly. But I swear, I am lined up perfectly within these lines. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but I can try and show you. Eh. Shh. It's pretty perfect. <clears throat> Shut the door. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. There we go. So, oh, nope. I'm covering your faces. Sorry. Um, so it's pretty perfect. Um, I don't think I'm off set at all. I double checked both sides. I really hope I'm not. It's always so awkward when you're like, yeah, rookie status. I need to pull up and straighten out. It's, that mainly happens to me, though, when there's no lines. And I hate that because I'm always like, oh, the F. But then again, this light may not, may not change because it started out red. It wasn't green even when I bumped it. So maybe it's just red because they're working on it. But I don't hear them working on it. You normally, they shake and bounce you around and... But they could have just been putting up the load, or the, not the load lock, the dock, like, clamp or dock lock or whatever it is, because I did see that they have them. So, they may have just locked me. It's basically, it comes up in front of your uh, Manfield, Mansfield bumper or your DOT bumper, and if you try and pull forward and you're locked, they, it could literally, like, rip it off. So, yeah, let's not do that. Which is why it's a good thing when they have wheel chocks because they, um, usually, like, you, like, you go, you move your wheel chocks and then you check and you make sure you're not still locked because you can see underneath. And, um, that's usually the best thing. I always check, but, um, even though there's no wheel chocks, I'm already in the habit of getting out and looking and, you know, making sure. So I'm going to set my alarm for like an hour. I'm going to take a little snooze and then get up and check. And they probably still won't be done. But at this place, they they uh, they said that they would come out and get me. But sometimes they don't. So we're just going to play it safe. Um, and yeah, play it safe. So yeah. From what Dispatch said, it would be a long night. But this isn't so bad. I don't mind. I don't mind helping out because... Um, one of the other trucks, like, I'm, I'm 63 and truck 62 broke down. I'm like, my brother! Or sister. I don't know. Whatever. But, um, I don't mind helping because I've been that truck that's broken down before and somebody had to help repower my load. And I'm sure they didn't get the greatest miles. So, whatever I can do, I mean, we're all one company. Um, even if it weren't the same company, Prime, like, whatever. Anything I can do to help. I feel like at some point people have helped me and at some point in the future people are going to have to help me. So it's just like helping out the family, you know, that's the way I look at it. So, but yeah, I hope that you guys are well. Um, your comments make my heart happy, make my trans heart so happy. Um, don't forget to check us out on Instagram. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I think I'm supposed to say Maggie. I don't know. If I didn't say it the right thing, just tell me. If you like getting notifications and you click on the bell, it will give you notifications. And if you like what we do here, um, please, you know, subscribe. And if you don't like what we do here, don't. Because it's probably not going to change. I've been doing the same thing for like 10 years. Uh, just with, you know, slightly more interesting backgrounds sometimes. So, yeah. Alright y'all, I hope that you're well, I hope your Memorial Day was dope, and I will, uh, I don't think I'm going to do another video tonight, but maybe in the morning. Either way, much love, peep out.